Hey guys, it's John and Darius from You Cook So Gay, and we're going to show you how to make pasta carbonara. So I got a pot of boiling water here. I'm going to throw my giant radiator pasta in there. We would normally make pasta, but this just looks so amazing at the store. Um, we're going to let this boil down. It's going to take a little while. And in this pan, I'm going to toss some olive oil. And I've cubed up already our ingredients, which is pancetta. You can use guinciale too. And basically the recipe just calls for the uh, guinciale or pancetta, pepperoni romano cheese or reggiano cheese, and some black pepper. But we're going to add some shallots to ours just to kick it up a little bit. So we're going to get this nice and brown, and then we're going to add our pasta to it. This is how I went to Rome years ago, and I had it at this restaurant in Trastevere, and they, um, I asked the cook, and he showed me how to make it. I was like, very cool, very lucky. Now we can do it home. Yeah, it's awesome. The difference is some some recipes I've seen call for heavy cream. <clears throat> But in Rome, they just use pasta water and egg yolks oh. and cheese. Mm. So we're going to show you everything step by step. So we're going to come back in a little bit when this is browned up. And the next part will be very quick. So stay tuned. Alright, so as you can see, the pancetta is nice and brown. So we're going to dump in our, just about a tablespoon of shallots. Just to give it a little extra something. Now you can see the pan's all... <laughs> browned up. So what you want to do is add some water to it from the pasta because the starch is going to help thicken up the the eggs and the cheese but it's also going to deglaze the pan so it'll, it'll become nice and rich. Ooh, that's some cooking there. That's how I do it. Yes. So we're just going to raise the heat up a little bit again. And you see how the pan's coming clean? Don't worry about it. It's not going to be hard to clean when you're done this dish. Because all that yummy brown flavor is going to come right off and come right through the whole dish. Mmm. That smells <laughs> so good. <clears throat> and, it, and I know it tastes so good. So it's going to taste amazing. So we're going to add some more pasta water to it. We chose radiator pasta because it looked cool, but normally we would use like a linguine or mm -hmm. a regular spaghetti. I like something that the sauce will stick to. So we're going to cook that down, and while that's cooking down, I'm going to start spooning in our pasta to it. amazing these giant radiator I tend to like the yeah. bigger the rigatonis and like this yeah but I like the pasta like cooking in the meats and all that look at that that just it's soaking in that meat flavor and the juice oh my gosh And you don't need to really salt this as you're making it um, because of the cheese. The Pecorino Romano and Reggiano are pretty salty. Mm -hmm. So when we make this, we don't salt it. We let our guests add their own salt. Oops. Just one more spoon around here, two more. All right, so we're gonna stir this up, give it a mix. And you can control how much sauce you have. You can see the water's evaporated out. So I'm going to add a little more 
of the pasta water to it. That's why you don't want to throw this away. This is like liquid gold. Yeah, because it already has the flavor of the pasta and the goodness. Now so here good. are three egg yolks. I'm gonna toss them in there. And get that a stir. That's gonna thicken it up. Mm. And make your sauce. And then we're gonna add our cheese to it, <clears throat> which is gonna also help thicken it up. This is one of those dishes you just do it by eye. You can do as much cheese as you like or as little. The first few times I the, made uh, it. And that's the what, the Parmigiana? Parmigiana, Parmigiana, and Pecorino, I mix them together. Mm. Freshly grated, I don't use a store bought packaged junk. And the longer you cook it, the thicker it's gonna get. But the, in the past, a couple times I've made this, I've actually made it way too thick, so. We're not going to let that happen here. No. And if it does get too thick, you can always, in the pot still while you're cooking, add a little bit of the pasta water to it. Or more cheese, whatever you like. I think I'm going to put some more cheese in it. Mmm. <laughs> and just the aroma, just coming off of that. Oh my god, I wish you guys could smell, smell that. And then like in Roman times, so they put a ton of black pepper in it. So I'm going to use a already grated kind because it's just, we need so much of it. <clears throat> this is seriously one of my favorite dishes. We were just in Rome for Italy for two weeks before we got married last November, and I had it <laughs> twice in one day. <laughs> I had it for lunch, I had it for dinner because it's so good there. All right, and you can see that that sauce is looking good. Mm. So you can Look take it at off that. now. Yes. And put it on your table in a nice bowl, <clears throat> and then course. put the, yeah. the cheese in a bowl with a nice spoon, and people can add more cheese if they want, but mm. I wish you could smell this right now. I bet people are like salivating right now, like, oh my god, I want some of that. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it looks the way it tastes, or All it right. tastes the way it looks. Thanks for joining <laughs> us for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any requests, message us. Absolutely. Hit the like button and maybe share it with your friends. We love you for watching. Thank you. Bye.